Good morning. Happy Saturday. I slept in till 7. Well, I woke up at 5 and couldn't sleep. But I knew if I fell asleep, I would have to sleep heavy. So I did that. And then I woke up at 7 and he was like, we have to leave by 7.30. And I was like, ah! But it's 7.39, so we're a little late. Sorry, David. We're going to Overland Park again. It's the last weekend we get to do this because make a sad sound. Oh, me? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. He's right. David has to go back to the office. Boo. So he goes back Labor Day week, which is when I'll be at a conference in Boston. So we're not allowed to drive to Overland Park anymore because he's going to be doing that three days a week and that's a lot of gas money. So we're savoring our last weekend being able to go do fun things in Overland Park. We got Marzen going to daycare at the Overland Park daycare. I got my ball of oatmeal to eat while David drives. He ate a bagel. We're gonna go work out at the Anytime Fitness in Leewood and then go to breakfast and do some more open houses. And then one of our favorite breweries, I would say it's one of our favorites. I don't know. They do really good beers that I like. They released a Hawaiian rice lager, which is David's favorite kind of beer, right? Is the rice lager. So we're gonna go try that. Happy Saturday. <laughs> we finished breakfast, but now we're going to one of my favorite Overland Park coffee shops. I didn't, I didn't get coffee there, but they released their pumpkin spice menu at this coffee shop. So we're gonna go to Summer Moon. It's actually a Texas-based chain. David, do you wanna talk about our breakfast experience? Before we do, Taylor's still bitter that we went to Texas and Clayton didn't even take her to Summer Moon Coffee, but I think they looked and there was none in the area. Yeah, I think they were based more in Austin and we were in Houston, so. I mean, going into this breakfast place, it's right next to the gym. The food is good and affordable and it's very big, so there's plenty of places to see. You never really have to wait. The only waiting you have to do is for your server. And basically, like, if you're not prepared to, like, flag down your waiter or waitress or whatever, then this isn't the place for you because they're really bad. Yeah. It's a family-owned business. And, like, there's a 14, maybe 14, middle schooler at the oldest kid hosting. And I don't think they have sections. I think he just puts people places. And so the server we've had both times will double sit you. Or, like, I'm sure he's being, like, quadruple sat, honestly. So it's really not his fault but everyone was trying to like flag him down or like they were messing up orders and like we get basic things they don't mess them up but it was very stressful for me because the whole time people were like arguing or going up to complain or flagging him down else. yeah or flagging yeah. someone else down to get his attention so he also does kind of just like disappear he so does I don't know if he has another section but there's like so many people bussing, like every yeah. buddy was bussing except for him. It's like, are, do you have like 20 bussers, but he's the only waiter? Right, like they should make more people waiters and divide those sections out better so that he's not covering all the booths and all the individual like, chairs. Ready? Like a whole leaf. We got it. it. The line wasn't too long. And the wait for my vanilla chai latte was outrageous. But. It was pretty long. But we got it. My 16 ounce autumn moon latte. 10 Never out of 10. Coming back. Oh. Oh. To be fair, I really don't, I'm not going to be able to come back because it's always so busy in there that you can never really be guaranteed a seat, which is problematic if you're trying to do work. Taylor and I will just open up a franchise in Lee Summit so she can That would be the dream. Love, love. I would love, love, love. And we're gonna go look at our first house of potentially four that we're gonna go look at today. This one is in Overland Park and it's in the exact area that I want it to be in, so. But it's really pricey, I'm pretty sure. But it's on land. We'll keep you updated. House number one. It's three bed, three bath, but like apparently 3,800 square feet. This is the master. This is the basement where a lot of the square footage is. It reminds me, Mimi and Papa, if you're watching this, of your basement, kind of, or your old house, but much larger in the sense that like, well, I guess you guys had like a pool table or air hockey, but then there's this whole bathroom. 
or yeah and then a bedroom and then a huge storage area back there that's pitch black but it's huge so very interesting all the appliances stay which is nice so the same owner owned the house for 50 years and you could tell you could tell um it was you can you can't find a house that big in overland park rarely like, but it didn't feel like 3,000 square feet though. It's They said it was what, 2,800 above ground? Or? It, yeah, it didn't it was feel not. bigger than our current house's no. like, living area in my opinion. Yeah. But if we, I think it is 200K asking too much because you have to, you have to flip, flip everything. The whole house. Yeah. Like even the, the kitchen had really nice cabinets, but you'd want to like tear down a wall to open it up. Oh yeah, it was all very like room by room the only thing that you wouldn't have to touch were probably the bathrooms the primary and the upstairs bathrooms were yeah. fine but downstairs you'd want to remodel upstairs like everything you'd want yeah. to remodel we're at our favorite liquor store they have all the beers got all their Oktoberfest this is the downstairs I think it's technically a, I mean it is a split level so that's the basement and they have this, and they already have a doggy door built in. Bathroom. This is the backyard. It's pretty nice. I don't love that hill. Yeah, it's not super big. I think big. that's probably why they have the drainage. Yeah. No, me. This is the master. Primary. Primary with the walk-in closet and a double vanity bathroom. That looks nice and updated. Squeaky floor. It's a decent shower. Mm -hmm. but Hello everyone. We just looked at the second house and OMG, it was so cute. There you go. This is almost like the con a it was, of the It's hard to see a photo of it. I have this thing. The problem is that it's a split level and you know us in split levels. That's a lot of stairs. And also they said they had a cellar. <laughs> bless you. They said they had a cellar. <laughs> bless you. They said they had a cellar back out or the buyer back out. And there was like a drainage thing in the back that we noticed and I'm thinking it's probably related to that. But all the floor was hardwood or tile, but it all the floor essentially matched. And there's plenty of space. There's four full bedrooms. Plenty of space to have like an office to both of our offices not in those bedrooms and that they could be used for like guest rooms or eventually kids. So, I liked it a lot. This is my favorite neighborhood, but I don't really want to split level. I don't want a 400k split level. Yeah. Okay, bye. This is the third house we're looking at. It has a huge bathroom. The house is huge. The house is huge, but there's the guy is here, so I don't want to show too much. That's so like the sunken tub. And then they have the bathroom over here. And then look at their living ma main this is probably space. The best room the yeah, oh yeah. It has That was our third house. We beat the agent there and we thought no one was home. But then the owner was home and it was really sad. His wife passed away, it's very clear. He, this house was built 41 years ago and he's lived there for 40. I almost want to buy it because I feel bad. I know, him. and he was in there and he was sitting alone and the house was not packed up, which is why I didn't film that much besides the master. Main. Main, it was so sad, I just felt sad. But then a family just walked in with four kids. So like they need this space yeah, more, than, more us. than us. Like we're not gonna be at that level for like 10 years. Yeah, but I mean, it was a beautiful home. He was an artist or she was an artist. One of them was very much into painting. Like the whole basement was a studio. Um, it's a beautiful house in the same area that we just looked at that split level. It's a, it's the, house style of my dreams. There were some things that I was, I fixed, like there's two doors. There's two doors in the front. It makes it look like a duplex. It makes it look weird. And yeah. so I'd want to somehow like close one off. But like, honestly, like inside, even though it's, because it's been owned by one owner, there isn't a lot of change and it's pretty, and that kind of like, you can tell it has like 40 years of somebody stank in there. <laughs> I think homes need to be sold more often to avoid stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I, if it was cheaper, I'd buy it. <laughs> if, I, if we were actually considering moving and we had the income, I'd consider. It was five hundred thousand dollars. So that's why I'm not considering. Yeah, and there had some leaks in the basement. I'm reading the seller's disclosure. Anyway, 
Next to the next house. House number four. This is in Shawnee, which is a little bit different than Overland Park. It's more west. No offense. That would be have to get added ASAP. I didn't do my research and it only had one car, which I showed you in the video, I think. I don't know why I thought it was a two-car garage online. And also it said two bathrooms and it was one and a half. So that would be like it's, it's we would never do one, that. Yeah, like, like <laughs> that would be a downgrade and then like if we wanted to have kids, we'd have to like move in like three years and yeah. we prefer to at our next house to be there for five or ten. Yeah. Minimum. And they painted it. They painted everything white, so it was a base coat, which was good, but they also were not careful, and there's paint all over their floor, and the kitchen was very, it was like, again, a very starter family home. It would be where David would have moved if, when he first bought, like, in Overland Park. Mm -hmm. But, but now. Yeah, it was oh. 340, too small for that price. I don't want a one car garage for yeah. 340. And also, the fence wasn't done. For, and oh, also, I should have added that, yeah. The fence wasn't finished, and then also that the appliances, yeah. We're very old. But now we're going to a 500k house in Shawnee that's four bed, five bath. So I think it's safe to say that we probably can't live in <laughs> this one either in Shawnee no. area. If that one that in my mind should be like 200 is actually 340, and then this one's probably going to be like what we'd actually want to upgrade to, and it's half a million. Yes. So I think Shawnee's sadly Out. off her bucket list. Sad. Her shopping list. Mm -hmm. This is the basement. This is what we'd want in an actual basement. We could turn this into an office. Their backyard is really tiny though. There's no fence for 500K. This is one kid room. Look how high the ceilings are. They have a Jack and Jill bathroom. The carpet. Yeah. Yeah. Think of all the water. Yeah. These are some nice rooms. Big closets. Big closets, yeah. Here's the main bath. Double vanity. I would get the bigger one. David would get that sink. Mm -hmm. And then nice tub for David. You can look out at the view of the trees. Mm -hmm. And then look at this closet, everyone. Like. This is bigger than our house. <laughs> Not really. We finished the last house. It was the biggest, in case I didn't say it was four bed, five bath. It definitely felt the biggest, but the backyard sucked. There's no fence. It was super tiny. I loved all the space though. There's plenty, again, plenty Inside of room. Inside was great. Outside, backyard sucked. Yeah. Other than that, that was really nice. It had Jack and Jill bathrooms. Every bathroom, I think, every bedroom had a bathroom. Mm -hmm. And the basement had two a bathroom and a, like a non-conforming room so good i think my favorite one was the overland park split level mm, my favorite one was the old man two-story house mm, yeah you like that style mm -hmm. but i think this one's a close second just because like you wouldn't have to do any work eventually yeah. you'd want a to fence. paint some like oh. the only work you'd have to do is put in the fence right away yeah but you know like all the appliances are new the hvac is new everything's new so you wouldn't have to touch it so that part's nice yep but that backyard is very sad so i <laughs> i don't know about that yeah our final stop of our overland park shawnee trip we did it Sir. someone had a good time at daycare <laughs> marson i missed you oh i missed you you love hugs Ready? Here's a treat for being a good dog. We got her report card. Woo! Her mood, she's shy but interested, sweet and friendly, observing and curious, mellow and relaxed. That doesn't sound like you. Her favorite activities, hanging out on a bench, Marzen for sure, exploring the yard, meeting new friends, soaking up the sunshine, getting belly rubs, mm. back scratches. What is this? What giving hugs and kisses to strangers and then her friends are chloe and brody a boy a boy dog she said yeah comments marzen is a very sweet 
soft dog. Marzen likes to say hi to every dog that comes and go about her day. She loves back scratches and sitting close by. What? So I want to be part of the action. So I'm, I'm pretty like happy. Humans. I, I'm scared of humans, but I like them. They're fine, I guess. I'm happy dogs. When oh, mom's I'm gone, scared. I don't have to protect her, so I like humans. Hey, vlog. Before hey, vlog. we end it off, we're going to go get some ice cream. We'll say hi, Marzen. ice cream. We were watching, uh, what's it called? Football? No. Oh, this house show? Oh. It was called... Porter Flips? Porter Flips. Porter House Flippers. Mm -hmm. They flip porter houses. It's, it's not really even the porter. each time. Mm -hmm. it's, they're pretty hoardery if you look at them, yeah. if you think about it. Well, we're going to go get ice cream, and that'll be our last clip, and that'll be a day in our life. Mm. She's giving kisses. <laughs> oh. oh, there you go. That's our pup cup. I got the peanut buster, which is their seasonal flavor of, with peanut butter and chocolate. And then David got their medium, just regular Reese's. This has peanuts and different kinds of chocolate in it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching the vlog. See you next time. Girly Pops. Girly Pops.